Hello guys, this tutorial will be about uh, simulating ice, ice cubes into the bucket using Mass FX. It's a 3ds Max native uh, simulation tool. So if you don't have that, uh, just make sure in the right click on the toolbar and open the Mass Effects. I will reset the X form of the ice tubes just to make sure everything is okay. Also, I will put the Mass Effects Rigid Body modifier on all the ice cubes. And because I I use this simulation for the steel image, I don't want them to bounce around too much, so I will use just um, a steel uh, preset for all of them. Also, I, I made a mistake. I put the static, uh, uh, static Riddick body on them, so uh, I will change that to the dynamic rigged body because the ice cubes the, are the ones that are going to simulate into the bucket or move moving down. Also. We want uh, the bucket and the bottles to have static rigid body, and sometimes I, I just cannot put the modifier on them. So I found a solution to make a box, put the modifier on the box, and then just copy it to the bucket and the bottles. Make sure that that uh, are static modifiers. Also, just uh, delete the box from the modifier in the modify shapes. Here. And just make sure that the shape type of the bottles and bucket is original. Or concave, you can try both of them. These are the settings of Mass Effects tool. We will use uh, their button for simulation, but let's just first uh, copy the ice ice cubes above the bucket. Copy them uh, just right above the bucket, so so they can uh, feel it when we start simulating. I will delete the ones on the edge because they will probably fall, fall around. And not inside the bucket. Okay, we will play the simulation now, but as you can see, the, the viewport is a bit sluggish because of the number of polygons. The ice cubes are a little bit heavy, so we have 1 million 2000 polygons. I recommend using uh, objects with less polygon count for the simulation to be a little bit faster, especially if you have a slow computer. Okay. And here is the simulation. It's looking nice. Okay, let's play it again, but now we go to settings and click uh, Bake All. That will create um, uh, key frames on the time slider time slider so we can delete the animation and keep that in place for the static rendering we will do later
now we can delete the ice cubes that we don't want. Now we can go and select base selected. It will bake the animation and we can delete the keyframes. We can choose the keyframe we like. I will put it on 70. I think it's okay. And I just can select all the keyframes and delete. And uh, I missed I miss one ice cube. I will just delete it. Also, we can just uh, fix the ice cubes and delete the ones that we don't want. Okay, now we can um, use the bucket and create uh, water. So we just select uh, one polygon and then grow it. Select inner polygons. Detach as a copy. Then we can select the border and cap. And because the polygons are inward, we just need to select all and flip them. Okay, now we'll, we can put the quadrify. Uh, modifier to make quads and let's decrease the quad size and on we can uh, now we just select the top size where the noise modifier will come in place so we can simulate a little bit of uh, noise and uh, water so let's decrease the scale and put the z-axis a little bit upward okay so uh, now uh, looks okay, but uh, the smoothing groups are not not looking good. So we just put a smooth modifier, and it should be ready. Okay, so now we can play with the position of the water and the ice cubes. Let's just select these uh, horizontal loops and delete them. We don't need that. Okay. Okay, let's select the ones on the bottom as well. We can select the vertices, top vertices, and move them uh, down. As you can see on the left side, we just reveal the, the, the cube, ice cubes. So let's then put a bit like that, maybe a little bit less. We will see that in the render uh, when we put the materials better. So let's just uh, jump into the studio setup. Okay guys, this is it for this tutorial, let me know if you want me to do something in the next one, uh, please make sure to like, subscribe and share this video if you enjoy it, and see you soon.